Backbenchers, the final, final show, at least for the year. Now, tonight, the Kermadec Sanctuary, do fish come before people? Also, it's justice, colourblind. And 123 years of suffrage. What is it like being a woman in Aotearoa? Well, how long do you have, Wallace? <laughs> hey, all that and more. I'm Wallace Chapman. And I'm Hayley Holt. Welcome to Pub Politics. As it happens, backbenchers, let's rock and roll. Woohoo! Fantastic. Thank you so much for coming to be part of the, the final show, the ninth year back. And I've got to say, the best thing about this uh, the, the show here is the crowd tonight. A big round of applause for yourselves tonight. Thanks for coming tonight, guys. Really, really appreciate it. And what a show, what topics. Let's uh, kick straight into the fantastic panel. Uh, a, a big welcome for National MP Sarah Dowie. Hello, Sarah. how are you? Good, Pleasure. good. Welcome to the show. Thank you. How are you? Good, thank you. Very good. All right. Yeah. A quick three. Here we go. What is the defining issue in election year? For me, I'm a champion of regional development. So I think it's going to be about creating policies that allow people to achieve their hopes and dreams in the regions. Regions, hopes and dreams. Okay. Number two. Nick Smith says it's the birds polluting the rivers, not the cows. Is he right? Yes, he's right. And number three. Should New Zealand sign the TPP? Absolutely. It's 20% of GDP. The world's GDP, of course. All right. OK, very good indeed. Welcome to the show, Sarah. Uh, and look, a big round of applause for uh, Labour MP Trevor Mallard. He's on the show tonight. How you doing? I'm doing really well, Warren. All right. Well. Your quick three. Here you go. Number one, if you could take one person to a desert island, it, and it had to be either Colin Craig or Jordan Williams, <laughs> uh, who would it be? I, I think I would be looking for I would be looking for the bill that's currently in David Seymour's name at that point. All oh, right. I just would not go there yeah, no, with yeah, either. No, 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 that no. would be a, it, it, going with either of them would no. be a bloody death sentence. <laughs> okay, all right. You didn't answer the question there. Okay. Sorry, Colin, sorry, Jordan. All right, number two. Should New Zealand sign the TPP? No, of course not. Yeah. All right. And number three, Trevor Mallard, could you see yourself going for the Mayor of Wellington one day? No, there, there was a suggestion years and years ago that I have a go, but I'm, I'm not that good at sort of kissing babies and cutting ribbons. <laughs> Punching babies. But, and... you're, but you're good at shouting order. You're good at shouting order, I'm, aren't I'm you? pretty good at shouting order, and there's plenty of, plenty of need to do it in the Parliament at the moment. Yeah. All right, OK, good to, good to have you on. And uh, look, uh, Māori Party co-leader Marama Fox is Yay! on. Waving the flag. Waving the flag. Waving the flag. How you doing? How are you? I'm very good, thank you, Wallace. I've gotten over my grumpy self. Yep. <laughs> All right, well, let's find out. Here we go. Question one. If you woke up one day and discovered that you were the leader of New Zealand first, <laughs> what would you do? I would fully crawl back in the bed and pull the covers over my head <laughs> and agree never to come out again. Never? It's, it's never come out again? I'd be it's going, go back to sleep. It's just a dream. It's just a dream. Well, it's, well let's just see. Sometimes Winston comes along for a, for a, for a, for a shandy. Or Where a, are you, Winnie? Is, is he, is he... Where are you, Winnie? No, not here tonight. OK, hey, all wasn't right. wasn't your party president in New Zealand first MP? That's right. Yeah. And what? he saw the what? light why and you, he came Why are you so anti-Winnie? Who's so anti-Winnie? You. I love Winnie. He's a lovely guy, except when he dicks around with Parliament and means that a whole lot of people lose thousands of dollars coming to settle their treaty claims that they spent 30 years bringing to the table. It's not good. All right, it's I, just a stuff. OK, that's it. All right. Number two. Should New Zealand sign the TPP? Oh, no. Hell no. All no. right. It's not a thing. OK, it's not a thing. And, and the defining issue for next year, election year? Um, alleviating uh, hardship which will mean uh, homelessness, poverty, uh, health, all of the disparities, uh, all okay. of the... All right. Uh, hey, and on the final show, it's great to have the, uh, the co-leader of the Green Party on the show. Uh, James Shaw's on the show tonight, too. James, yeah, well, uh, well, welcome to the you? show. Here. Thank you, team. <coughs> Can we get a shot of that green man again? Is there a green... Is there a... Wow. 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 That's kind of cool. All right. Peeps. All right, here we go. 
Question one. Nick Smith said it's the birds polluting the rivers, not the cows. Is he right? He's completely wrong. I mean, that's a, an extraordinary assertion to say that after, so after, after 20 years of massive intensive dairying, that the increase in river pollution is down to birds. All right, so that's I mean, enough. That's, just nuts. Oh, that's, that's, that's a no. Yeah. Number two, should New Zealand sign the TPP? Well, nobody else is. I don't see why we would be the only <laughs> one. <laughs> All right. And, uh, a, 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 and if you could take one person to a desert island, and it was, had to be Colin Craig or Jordan Williams. I think they can ba take both slots and I'll swim. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good to have you folks on. Hey, Hayley Holt. Hi, hey, Wallace. Good to have you on the show. How are you? I'm great. Boy, I can't believe it's the last show. It is, uh, it's flown by, has it not? It sure has. Yep, yep. There's lots going on in global politics, but there's more going on back here, as you'll see in the top five. This week's addition to the creepy Colin Craig file turns out the wannabe Lothario is a poet, and I wish we didn't know it. You are beautiful because you have the most perfect dot, 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 dot. Creative Colin, creative genius. A modern day Wordsworth. Of course, that should have been the worst thing said on New Zealand television this week, but then this uppity white lady came along. Can you just not lecture me if you don't mind? I've had it from the I'm other gonna girls. I'm going to lecture you. You know what? I'm sorry. I will lecture you to the cows can. The other Whatever girls the wouldn't I have would reacted like you did, that's for sure. The other girls wouldn't have reacted how I did. They weren't called a but luckily, New Zealand has some pretty awesome citizens to look up to. Paralympian Liam Malone, speedster, record smasher, medal winner, and an all-around inspirational guy. This is the first Games, I think, where athletes have inspired people to become Paralympians. You mean in the sense where, you know, they're not, you know, they're not chopping each other's legs off to become Paralympians? <laughs> no. <laughs> John Key is in New York at the Mo for the UN, but also took the opportunity to put the boot up the Americans, alluding to the Jade Dragon in the TPP negotiating room. Because in the end, if that vacuum isn't filled by the United States, it will be filled by somebody else. We all know what he means. I mean, it's a country so powerful, it can bring down the moon. But what stumped many of us was the NCEA Level 1 maths exam, leaving students in tears. Even most of the pollies were unwilling to give it a go. Not even the finance minister. You're the finance minister. Shouldn't shouldn't these kind of sums be something you should do? Well, the Treasury has a lot of people who are good at algebra. But the commerce minister was practically rain man. So A in terms of B, uh, yep. I think A equals three. That's A in terms of I have no idea what I'm talking about. Get out of here with your high school maths. Yeah, too hard, too hard for me as well. Nice one, Hayley.